All right, folks, this is my uh, portable solar generator. I wanted to show you how easy it is to make. Uh, this case comes from Harbor Freight. Most of the parts come from Harbor Freight. I'll show you that. And But you don't have to make one in a case. You can just have the parts out individually, and I'll show you that in a, in a couple of minutes. But uh, I wanted to show you how easy it is to make one of these cheap, and uh, you probably need to do it pretty soon before the election. Just to have the parts, at least, you can just hook them all together. But uh, here's the DC part. You can see this uh, battery is at 13.1 volts. Got a USB here and the uh, car charger type you know, and this is all hooked to the battery here and uh, the outside here that's where the solar panel goes in you can get those at Harbor Freight definitely recommend that and the power outlets are right here for AC power well, let's open this up and see the components I wired this up all by myself so uh, this is a Harbor Freight inverter it's the 1500 watt one um, just got these AC plugs at Home Depot. This battery is the exact same size as the ones they have at Harbor Freight, the lead acid ones, and it, it was originally one of these, one of those, uh, which was 35 amp hour, but it's lead acid, and that thing was heavy, and I went through three of them, so they don't last very long, and they're not very good, so I wouldn't recommend it. This is a lithium battery. It's a 50 amp hour. And with lithium, you can use all the juice, all the way down to zero. With lead acid, you can only use 50% um, of that battery before you kill it. And that's what I did. I went over 50% and I killed the battery. Killed three of them. The ones they sell at Harbor Freight for solar. So, this battery was $500. So, you don't have to do that. But uh, if you want something really quick, hook all these together. You don't have to put it in a case. That takes a lot of work to drill these little holes and put all these little things in there's the DC connector it takes a lot of work to do all this I sold a few on eBay and I just got tired of making them and I wasn't making that much money because people were cheap so just make your own so uh, you don't have to get a lithium battery I recommend it uh, you can have a couple of automotive or RV deep cycle batteries just go buy those they're pretty cheap to buy uh, I would recommend deep cycle, not this regular car battery, deep cycle. And hook an inverter up to it. Uh, here's the here's the charge controller for the uh, solar panel, right? Now this is for lithium. You can see if I hook these two wires together, it'll come on. I need to put a switch on there. And see, it just comes on because it says hook to the battery. I just leave it off now because I haven't, I'm going to put a switch on there because if I leave it on, the battery will slowly drain because it's using power as you see so I'm gonna get a switch for that so this this charge controller is made for lithium it was uh, just the little one they have at Harbor Freight to charge the Harbor Freight battery but I've up upgraded everything to lithium I don't have any lead acid batteries now but for you if you need something quick and if you need to put it in a corner of the house get a couple of deep cycle 100 amp hour batteries and you'll get uh, you'll get some good usage out of that so this is lithium this is 50 amp hour and uh, which means 50 times uh, 12 50 amp hours times 12.8 volts that's about 1200 uh, watts I get to use as, as far as uh, power storage right so I have four 100 amp hour lithium batteries in my RV which means I get a little little over 5,000 watts to use in a day which most likely that means between sundown and sunup, you get 5,000 watts to use, right? So 1,500 watt inverter. I'm going to show you that you can have these parts individually, just stack them in a corner of your house if you want, or have them somewhat mobile. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, so here's some individual parts you need. Yeah, of course, all the wires to connect it, I'm not showing, but this is the DC part. You can get this on Amazon or an automotive store or the stores that put in sound systems in, in cars, automotive sound systems. Pre-wired. Some of them are not pre-wired that you order off Amazon. Some are. You know, all you get is hooked this to the battery and it's 12 volt. Got a switch right there. So this is the DC side for charging phones and USB stuff. And here's the inverter. This is a 2000 watt inverter. This is a, instead of the 1500 in the case, this is a 100 amp hour lithium battery. This is $900. You don't have to get this. You, you need to get at least minimum one 100 amp hour deep cycle lead acid battery. Those are 
you know, 150 to 250. But I don't like lead acid anymore because I've ruined a bunch of them doing the solar stuff. And of course you could get a power strip and plug it in right here. So I'm not showing you all the cables that, you know, you hook this to the inverter and you got AC power. But this is for emergency. You can have it just like this. Just hook all this stuff together and grab it and move it somewhere. Put it in a box and move it. You don't have to put it in that case I just showed you. If you got the time, put it in the case. If you got the know-how, put it in the case. In one with wheels, it's much easier. This did not fit in that other case I showed you. Uh, it fit. I bought a bigger case for it and I was going to put all this together. I'm like thinking, eh, I'll just set it somewhere if I need it. So this is the individual parts you kind of need. All from Harbor Freight, most likely, except for this. They don't sell this stuff. And this is, uh, you know, got to order online somewhere. But if you need the minimum, you can go to Costco, get a couple of deep cycle batteries or an automotive store. Get this Harbor Freight. Now, this is a modified sine wave, some modified sine wave inverter. So was the other one in the box. Modified sine wave is, sometimes electronics are sensitive on it. So the two things that... I noticed on my house was the when I tried to run the refrigerator off of the um, the one of these you know the modified sine waves or the other one you just saw uh, the freezer part would not work the 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 refrigerator came on you know the refrigerator stayed cold but the freezer when I went to work it was at zero degrees when I came back it was 29 that means the freezer part was not working off of the modified sine wave. So I called the company that had the uh, that made the uh, inverter and asked them about it. And they said, the freezer electronics do not like modified sine wave. You have to get pure sine wave. And I said, how much is it? And they told me and I bought it. And I hooked it up to my refrigerator to test it and it works fine. So some refrigerators uh, for, you know, the home refrigerators, they do not like modified sine waves. So if you want to get this to protect your food in a... Um, power adage you got to get a pure sine wave and the ones at Harbor Freight are not pure sine wave so no to that anyway just a short video I wanted to show you the parts you can get really quickly put them together you don't even have to put them in a case you just need to wire them together you know you go out here to the positive negative this is powered it you can plug this in you got AC power and then you get a couple of 14 to 16 gauge wires hook this up you're good to go which which would plug into here that's it that's all you get. You have a solar generator, and you got to have a. If you want to charge it with solar, you got to get the little charge controller and a panel, right? But it, and if you want to charge it battery with a wall power, you know, with AC power, you got to get a little AC charger for lithium for this one, or for lead acid. That's it. So you got to make sure the battery stays charged. You can either plug it in while you can with a with a battery. Uh, charger which for lead acid they have those at uh, Harbor Freight Costco has a lithium charger it's a 4.5 amp lithium charger I have that somewhere around here for charging lithium through you know your your shore power from regular AC power but when everything dies you gotta have a solar panel to charge that alright folks I'm signing out just thought I'd show you this take care